Thanks for questions. Uh, this question says, Why does change prove the existence of God? It proves the beginning and the end, but not what is before uh, the beginning or the end. Is it a leap of faith? So this is a very, very good question. And um, we will talk about this, inshallah, in the days ahead. That which is that which has a beginning and therefore is finite, it cannot account for its own existence. So when we talk about Huduth, which is existence after non-existence, then there is a corollary. The word corollary means a lazim. It is a, an idea that necessarily comes because of that position. So when we say that the world is hadith, then we also say the world is muftaqir. Muftaqir. Muftaqir means that it is contingent. Contingent means it has need of something else that accounts for it. It has to have a cause. So huduth, which is temporality, it also requires, it also leads to iftiqar. It means that this thing which is created, which exists in time, it must have an explanation. It has to have a cause. Okay, and that cause cannot be hadith. It cannot be temporal like it. So this brings us to the discussion of necessary being, which is what we will talk about tomorrow. It's a very good question. This is a really good question. Okay, it's true. If we say that we look at change, change just shows me that this cup has a beginning. And if I look at the change in this pillar or in the sun or the moon, it just shows me that they have a beginning. But that fact that they have a beginning means that they cannot have created themselves. And they're, okay, uh, one of our great scholars says, Man la wujuda. لذاته من ذاته فوجوده لولاه عين محالي ما لا وجود لذاته من ذاته فوجوده لولاه لولا الله تعالى عين محالي that which has no existence of its essence from its essence which is all possible things all things that have beginnings its existence, if it were not for God, who is the necessary existent one, is Ayn al-Muhali, is the very essence of impossibility. That's a really important um, point. And as the person who wrote this says, she, uh, he or she says, is it a leap of faith? No, no, it's not a leap of faith. This is reason. This is pure reason. And this, when we talk about this also, we talk about something that we mentioned in the first class. And that is, there cannot be an infinite regress of finite causes. In other words, I can say that, okay, the watch changes. So it has a beginning. Therefore, it must have a maker. That was a human being. The human being had a father. He had a grandfather. He had a great-grandfather. Okay? So we can go back, back, back. But you've got to go back to a beginning. You cannot have an infinite regress of finite causes. All of them are muftaqira. You cannot do that. That is rationally impossible. And today, uh, using modern mathematics, we also can say, as modern mathematics does say, that if you have an infinite set, they would say you cannot have one, but if you had an infinite set, you could never cross it. So, infinite regress in the past, if that were the case, you could never get to the present. You could never have a present moment. So this is a really important question, and I'm very glad that the person asked this question. And inshallah, tomorrow we will begin with this, because this is what we want to talk about tomorrow. Um,